Hello, how's it going? Welcome to Dark Souls 3. Couldn't do any commentary last time because I just couldn't bear to speak. It's too nice. This is Firelink Shrine. Those of you who played Demon Souls, or sorry, Dark Souls 1, will be familiar with this. And just like everything else in this game, it's bloody gorgeous. Um. I'll explain that in a sec. Come on, let me out. There we go. That fog wall was there because of that dude up there at the top of the stairs. He don't look like much, but he's kicked my ass about six times now. Partially because I keep, you know, screwing up, <laughs> hitting the wrong button, having to spaz out. I'll blame that on playing Salt and Sanctuary. The button layout's different. That's my excuse. Sounds plausible, so I'll stick to it. But I'm going back this way to a place I saw but didn't fully explore last. But didn't fully. Oh. There we go. Didn't fully explore last time. Cause, well. Didn't seem like a good idea right off the bat. My guy's a little bit stronger now, so I think I might be able to manage it. Maybe. Or I could go over there and whatever it is could kill me instantly. You know how it is. What do I think of this game so far? Magnificent. Love it. It's definitely Dark Souls. You stop respecting it for half a second and it will stick your head up your own ass for you. And then laugh while you bleed to death. <laughs> but, it's like the other Dark Souls and Souls-like games I've played, and well, I guess I'm just Bloodborne. It, it's never unfair. Well, you never die because the game's broken. You die because you screwed up. Come on, you ugly son of a bitch. Oh. Well. That's like the fifth cleric's charm I found here. I guess they want to make sure you get all the stuff you need if you're going to be playing something like a sorcerer. Hey, peekaboo! Hey, buddy! Come right over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give you a Scoopy snack. Banzai! Ooh. Alright, that's what I get for him. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, did I forget some goodies over here? Okay.
Grab a little health. Enjoy the view. Oh, the clouds actually move. Cool. Uh, ah, this way. Yeah, this would be the area I didn't get very far in last time. Not that anything killed me, it's just that uh, the voice of caution turned me away because I wasn't sure what the hell that was. Well, I'm sure it's a monster that's going to try and kill me, but... Does this go anywhere? doesn't appear to. I just want the shiny, goddammit. Oh lord. Uh-huh. Sure, it's a repeat, I guess. Come on over here. Ow! Oh, this 
is a bad place to go. Not in the water, not in the water. Come on. Oh! Worth it, I think. I'm oh, tough son of a bitch, anyway. Anything else good in here? Just a tight night scale, whatever that is. I would assume it's for souping up weapons. Huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just like every other Dark Souls slash Bloodborne game I've played, I'm occasionally startled by the appearance of phantoms, even though it's completely normal. So as you can see by that fight just there, the game's still hard as fuck. But if you've played Dark Souls before and we're fairly comfortable with the controls and how to go about it, and this game's not going to throw any new hooks at you yet. Although apparently there's this yeah, weapon art thing. I don't, I don't know how it works. Oh yeah, that's not the button I wanted to push. But. There was nothing down that passageway, so I guess I've got to go fight Mr. Asshole. Let me go level up a little bit first. Not that it's going to help me much, but, you know. And I'll spare you the walk back through something you've already seen, so we'll, uh, we'll leave it here at the nice view, and I'll uh, start back up when I get there. Well, back to the shrine. Um, did that little guy up there in a throne? He is actually the first boss I killed. Apparently we're trying to find the High Lords of Lothric and bring them back to sit in our thrones. Which apparently means fighting them, dying a lot, and then hopefully kicking their asses. There's Mr. Super Sad and Depressed Guy. He's in every Souls-type game I've ever played. Or every FromSoft game I've ever played. Is that well, Bloodborne? I don't know if he was in Bloodborne or not. Can't remember. Let's see if we can get Canker Face over here. Keep thinking maybe he's just pissed I killed all his buddies, I don't fucking know. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. Oh yeah. Come on, motherfucker. Yep, every time. Okay, this time I'm going to try something a little different. Oh, hey. Your souls don't go away after you die. Interesting. Come on, motherfucker. That's not going to accomplish much, is it?
God damn it. Okay, so apparently getting the first strike in on that motherfucker was the right thing to do. And apparently to beat him, all I had to do was uh, get good, as they say. You know, it's just funny. You think you're completely stumped, thinking, oh, fuck, I'll be forever before I beat this guy, blah, 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 blah. And then you just try something different, and suddenly it works a hundred times better than what you were doing before, and the thingamajig, whatever it is, dies. And everything's hunky dory again. Really? Really? Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So apparently, all you have to do is sit on the bonfire and pay attention because it takes you straight to the high wall of Lothric. Um, so there you go. If you're stuck on that dude by the door, you don't even have to fight him at this point in time, so don't worry about it. Well, I guess we'll call it a day for this place, and uh, we'll see you in the high wall of Lothric.